Studio P1 Wrocław welcomed so cordially. Paweł Trybson Trybała is my name and today I'm here in a bit different role before I commented and now I'm the host. And we've got the great ones, the true hosts and masters of Punchdown. The three of us are here. Welcome to the Punchdown 5 conference. Punchdown 5 starts at 7 p.m. Polish time and we're very happy to be finally able to have a gala with live audience. Finally live audience. We're back to a club. That's how Punchdown was always to go. So it's a mega party, cool super party with all the sports emotions that you can imagine. Punchdown here in Wrocław on Friday and we will present to you our champions, athletes and fighters, many of them champions of Poland, Europe and the world. They are strong, tough and bad. Well, the most powerful set so far. Przemek, what do you say? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Like Patrick said, thanks to our sponsor, P1 Studio Next Level. We can host everyone here at one of, as I see it, the best clubs in Poland. Also on 22nd October, the gala will be held here where we have the conference now. So join us on 22nd Friday and let's watch our gala together. And now the microphone goes to my partner. On Friday, we invite you to the club. Tickets and pay-per-view still available. And there will be an after party here in this beautiful club. You'll have an opportunity to meet about 200 YouTubers, streamers and influencers. Everyone who buys a ticket will be hosted. You'll have a place to sit, something to drink. So join us. There are still perhaps under 100 tickets to be bought. And at Punchdown TV, you can buy pay-per-view and you see those powerful uh, sports people, athletes, we haven't had such a great set yet. Join us, gentlemen. Say, has anything changed? May we tell all our viewers what the changes are today and in the coming galas? Are we talking about principles? Yes. Some principles, tables, some curios. Well, there are plenty of controversies. The table remains. We are a new federation. We are a federation who's got no one to look up to, to copy anything from. We are in touch with the judges and referees. We are still working on the principles. And let's be honest, they have evolved until now. So for 20 years, they have been changing. This is our fifth gala. We want to learn. We are learning. We draw conclusions. We are reading comments from all our haters very, very dearly. We agree with some of you. And the greatest controversy, whether a hit that we call a hit, so really a hit from below, well, we will not accept it here. It is considered injury and you're disqualified. You are slap fighting and you are not doing hooks or those low hits. Przemek, just like Patrick said, I believe that there are many people who watch the conference for the first time and don't know the principles, so perhaps I just reiterate how we live with that and how we give points to our athletes. The uh, referees decide who slaps first. And it goes from one to three. A knockout, of course, that's clear. The challenge is over. It can be judged for the strength and whether within 30 seconds a uh, fighter can fight on. Importantly, we will now have the third judge who will be standing aside and looking at it and we'll try to make sure to have no controversies that we had after the previous events and we will have VAR judge and every athlete will have all information 
information told how to hit, how not to hit, what you can do, what you mustn't do, and I believe that in future there will be far fewer converses. Slap is a slap. We didn't discuss how you are supposed to slap, so Vasily started, he was shorter, those pushed hits from the bottom, no, you mustn't do that, so there's not going to be any problem about that. And Przemek, one more thing, who wins? You have a cost you have a toy cost, heads or tails, of course, yes, you're right, it's the judge who uh, decides, but it's a coin, so that's random. Now, the main prize today, can you tell me, because I heard that there is a great competition, say something more about it. Okay, let me tell you, yes, you can find a great competition on our website, it's especially for you, especially for the people who buy pay-per-view, that's an uh, extra touch on top of the emotions you can watch in this tournament, in the main event, you can win a sports car of over 250,000, what is it? It's Porsche 718 Boxster. Wow, there is a lot to play for. You need to have everyone in the whole tournament pairing and everyone who's bought pay-per-view just register and help your luck. If you're lucky, you can win it. You will win it then. Now, to remember, pay-per-view tickets are available from Punchdown TV and also a special offer from Total Bear our sponsor and we are also going to do something that not only Poland didn't know, Europe doesn't know it, in cooperation with our foreign partners, we are going to make this gala available also on Facebook. Okay, cool. Guys, this studio here makes a lot of impression. Golden. I'm thinking about the golden leaves of our beautiful autumn. I also hope that some of our athletes are going to be falling down like the leaves. And I believe that this after party will be something marvelous. I'll be here with my wife, certainly, and I believe we go going to have a lot of fun. Do come, do come. Sorry for interrupting. We back to the roots, just like from the start. We wanted to have all those fantastic emotions ended, ending in a fantastic party. Well, these are the parties you never remember then, but everyone who went to the earlier punch dance said, now, must have been fantastic because I don't remember anything. I hope you're going to have that kind of fun. And I believe that this is a perfect way of closing this and now we're going on into the Punchdown press conference for you. Punchdown. Join the party. Białko od Sixpacka i cała reszta z kozackim rabatem. Użyj kodu PUNCH10 na Sixpack Nutrition Code. Satysfakcja z treningu w 100%. PUNCH DOWN Czepecki uniósł swoją prawą rękę, dając sygnał do
Pay-Per-View October the 22nd, 2021 Wrocław Punchdown Good evening. Welcome in P1 Studio, the next level in Wrocław, to the press conference before the fifth Punchdown Gala. We have the World Championship in Slapping Your Faces, and we'll have Michał Rogoziński and Bubunio behind us, 16 champions, 16 fighters, who will take part in this murderous thing. Plus, two extra events with four women. The sponsor of this part of conference is Total Bet, the official bookmaker, and three extra bonuses for those who register with Punchdown 5 code. Let's get to the first duel, and they will be Valus. Valus, please join me. Hello, hello. It's better to shake hands. I'm afraid even of shaking hands with him. And he'll stand opposite Jiku. That is the wild boar. Join us. Hello, hello. I must say that these welcomes are something you feel heavy on your palm. I'd rather be welcoming you. You mean I'm soft? Uh, by the way, well, Wubunio, if we just did it, you and me, so did you ever play uh, the changes at school? Yep, okay, let's do it. Changes. So I start with Valush and then you go. I just kind of think that perhaps no fighter in Punchdown so far was so happy to be showing their face at this table. Is this courage or is that stupidity madness? You just do it naturally and quickly and it looks cool for Facebook. No, I don't even know how to make a Facebook face, but he was always standing like that and it was very easy to hit him. Not everyone stands like that. That's courage. Speaking of hits, because it, we saw it before, he had here a piece of plaster and I asked whether he cut himself while uh, shaving. No, I was kissed by my... Fav favorite bull terrier. It wasn't a tongue, it was just a tooth. Okay, so you were having fun with a bull terrier before punch down? Okay, wild boar, how does it go? You're making your debut, Jiku, and I can never find words to describe people who want to come here after what you can see on YouTube or on pay per view. If I saw it, I wouldn't like coming to this place. I like fighting, I like challenges. And that's three things in one. But you like to fight, I understand, but when you fight, you can defend yourself. And here you can't defend yourself, and that's a bit complicated. Okay, something new, I've got to stand the test. But what do you think is more important here? To hit better or to take better? Well, I'll see, it depends on the other. Well, I practice kickboxing and also I did some bodybuilding. Okay, I'm looking at the wild boar. You can see that he is a military, short to the point because he really is a military. It's worthwhile to discuss those things, bull terrier and all that, that you're standing not against an animal. Okay, he's a wild boar, how about that? He's a debutant, you know nothing about him. Isn't it going to be something that's going to tell to this? Well, you know, there are wild boars and they like some things. I have something here. Oh, well, easy, easy. Okay, we've got those wild boars. You're, you're a soldier, Jiko. Some time ago, in the military, somebody who was coming there and was a rookie, and people went chasing rookies. On the 22nd of October, are you going to chase your opponent like a rookie? No, it's going like to have a tank riding over him. 
Okay, Zalesh, at Punchdown 3, you lost to Vasily. And you were not really satisfied with the verdict of the jury. You said that he was doing his turtle moves of the head. Was it a good change? Yes, very cool change. At least there's not going to be turtles. You know, he was doing it rather like a small sparrow then. You, you still don't agree that Vasily won? One with you? You know, it's the pass. It's the pass. Okay, it's the pass. Right. So you've got a debutante on the other hand, and you've been there. Are there any hints that you're going to disclose to your opponent? The first, don't try injury, uh, to injure anyone. And be a friend. Okay. A sport-like approach, an Olympic approach. You said that it's like a tank going to cross him? Uh, you never do any pacts, no, you just fight. Do you have a game plan, any concept how to do it? It's not only one fight. If, let's say, you win with Valush, then you'll be fighting on. How do you think your face is going to stand it? Well, we'll see, we'll see. Do you drink alcohol? No. No. Pity, because, you know, you are the first... Because if Valush lets you to the... Uh, back of the room, then you can go drinking. No, looks like he's not intending to drink. Okay, the last question is about stress. Do you already feel stressed or will you feel later? You know, you've got cameras, you've got lights, we're talking. No, there are some idiots with uh, microphones talking. Do you feel somewhere subconsciously that there's going to be some stress? No, no, not at all. No, I don't, but I believe that the other guy does. Come on. He was looking me in the eye. Okay, talking about looking in the eyes, in a moment you'll have an opportunity to do it at this table. You know this table perfectly well, okay? Stand here in every federation, there are face to faces. Stand here, Gripson will run here. End of talk, time to look into each other's faces. And now what Total Bet does, Valush is 117 for you and Jiko is 410. So get ready for slap down. I believe that the last look before the fight, yeah, we know how to keep our crosshairs, crosshairs on the cheek. Any message? N room number? I believe that this is the end for today. Thank you, gentlemen. That was the first pairing in Punchdown 5. Thank you very much. And uh, now the time for the second fight, and there is going to be Maras, the arm wrestler. Hi. Well, this guy has got quite a high five. Eh? Yasho is his opponent. He's a K1 fighter. There we go. Well, I have this question to Maras because uh, it's the second time I had to shake your hand. And it's like made of stone. What do you do with your hands uh, to have such strong hands? I mean, I know that you are a sportsman and you're an arm wrestler after all. Well, yes, um, I've got pretty tough wrist. That's because of uh, my arm wrestling training for eight years. I use uh, proper equipment, proper handles. Um, uh, the, uh, the radius of the handle matters. And also we have um, uh, some uh, training devices that actually make your uh, um, arms really, really strong. And uh, I uh, spoke to my uh, pal here and he says that you can actually uh, crack a coconut open with bare hands. Can 
can you do that? I could probably do it. Do we have any coconuts in the club down here to try it out? Okay, and together with us we have Yash. Yash, you know that Maras is the author of the most effective knockout in history of uh, punch, punch Down. Did you see that? Have you chosen the color of your coffin? Well, I have a colleague here, he works at the cemetery, so if necessary, he would know what to do with me. So, uh, perhaps you would have some a discount at the cemetery. Maybe, but I don't know. It depends on the fight. So, you were there, sitting at home and watching uh, watching uh, the fight, and now then you know that you had to, f to fight with this guy. What did you feel? Well, I thought this could happen. I had this uh, premonition that I would feel him, this, uh, see him, and uh, I think it's uh, cool that finally I will have an opportunity to face the guy. But are you stressed around about it? Well, uh, I will be stressed when, once I face him. Well, actually, I do feel sorry for you. And uh, if there is nothing you can do with your real estate, give it over to me. Now, Yash, I have this question. You've been training, and uh, uh, Lukas Jaros, uh, the K1 legend from Rapka, is a coach. Uh, wouldn't you actually pay out uh, uh, with a foot and not with a hand? Uh, oh, no, no, I can't do that, uh, because uh, that would actually end up with a knockout. But no, seriously, how have you been training for this fight? Because, I mean, this is no, not conventional, right? It's not a proper martial art in that sense that you have just to face the blow. Have this leg. Uh, well, f I know that I cannot uh, stand in my usual kickboxing position with one leg forward, so I had to focus on uh, training and I had to to, uh, to actually to be very dynamic with my blow, with my slab, so that uh, I really whack the guy properly. So I think that we've done a good job, and I think that um, everything is going to be quite cool if I actually make it, if I actually win. Maras, a question to you, we're just joking around and so on and so forth, but I do remember at uh, punch down once uh, you hit Arnold, he approached you and uh, you were very emotional. You actually felt sorry about the guy you uh, knocked out and um, and uh, everyone was hooray, hooray. And then this guy was on the floor for one minute, two minutes, five minutes. Maras, you were really stressed out of your mind. So Maras, you spoke to me and he said, fuck, I thought I killed the guy. Now, wouldn't be that this time round you're going to be very conservative because you would be afraid of uh, actually hurting the guy. Well, I'm not going to be too cautious, uh, but yes, you're right. Right, uh, that time round it looked really bad, and the camera didn't see what um, I saw. I saw how Adam behaved right after the blow, and so I actually did have uh, this uh, thought that um, it was really bad. But uh, uh, 30 minutes later, Adam uh, came to senses, to his senses, and I could actually talk to him. So, are you going to be more careful now? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, go I'm going to deliver the full blow. Of, uh, things you cannot step into one river in the same river twice. So, no, it was going to happen, and of course I'm. Not going to harm my opponent, but were you surprised after that? Uh, that you actually your blows are so strong. Yes, I was surprised. I mean, I knew my hands were strong, but I didn't know that it was so much. I mean, it's um, um, uh, it was that guy. He was 120 kilos, and he fell down. Now, now I have another question. Now, if you beat Yash right in the first round, and then in the next round uh, there is a chance you will meet an arm wrestler from Slovakia in the next round, who is an arm wrestler as well. So tell me, would it be like an um, uh, ambitious task for you also to face yet another arm wrestler, a fellow arm wrestler? No, no, I'm not being excessively ambitious about it. Uh, it doesn't matter where we fight, be it in Poland, Slovakia, or in Germany. We actually are in very good uh, um, uh, relations, and uh, we are arm wrestlers as arm wrestlers, so we are not actually conflicting guys. No, nothing of the sort. I've never seen anything like that happen. So it's not this ambitious thing. I saw the guy. And um, and I think it would be cool to see two arm wrestlers uh, slapping. And uh, once I spoke to you, and uh, when they were used to speak about MMA in the past, now we have specialists in MMA. And uh, but in uh, the past, uh, MMA was the result of mixing different uh, sports disciplines. And they were saying that the best uh, thing for MMA to be a MMA fighter was to be a wrestler. So wrestling was quite important, or being a boxer. So how about here? So if you're uh, when Thinking about slap biting, uh, uh, so who would be a good guy for uh, slap biting? Would it be an arm wrestler? Yes, I'm sure it's arm wrestling that is really good for uh, as a preparing ground, as training ground uh, for. Um, a slap fighting because uh, sometimes uh, training uh, lasts for two hours. It's only hands that work. Uh, sometimes you have to work in the chest and your back muscles, but it's all about the hands. And, and after two hours, the hands are really uh, tight. And so after uh, two hours, we had to do to change the coaching, to change the training. 
Um, so here we have to reinforce our elbows, we have to reinforce our wrists, and uh, there is quite a burden. So really, arm wrestling is really super cool because the hand, the hand becomes real tough. And tell me, t t Maros, tell me one more thing. Uh, so you, uh, you were in super fights uh, in the previous uh, punch downs. Why, uh, why did you start uh, uh, thinking about uh, taking part in the tournament proper? Because Kuba called me, Kuba called me, and then we started talking like an hour ago. We spoke again. It was like, oh. Try Try once and that would be it, right? And then, and then I thought, no, I would never come back. But now I'm actually happy. I'm actually happy. I will approach Kuba in five days from now, and um, and I'm going to face my opponent. Um, now let's hear, talk to Yash at the very end. Yash, tell us. Uh, so how did you come here? I mean, um, uh, like a Jik last uh, is uh, it's his first time. It's your first time. Why? Why? Why did you become interested in? Well, I saw it on the internet. And I thought it's cool. It's interesting. I thought I wanted to see what I could do, and I think. I have a proper disposition, and it's something about your brain, it's not something about your head that is wrong, but but you say that you have proper conditions, so how do you know you've got proper conditions or predispositions? Well, I don't know, I mean, no, don't be shy, come on. I mean, well, I actually had to, to knock out a couple of guys in my life, I, I had to receive a, a, a number of fairly heavy blows with the hand and with the feet and everything, and so I know how it feels, more or less, but I never, uh, I never fell down, and uh, so I think that my head is going to be strong enough to withstand the blows and win. So what's your weight? I'm 108. I'm 116, 117, so 10 kilos heavier than the other guy. Ah, no, come on, the body, weight, body mass doesn't mean that much. Uh, well, because of the table, it's not that important. And I, and, um, I, I will come with, uh, with, my, with Yash and with father. Uh, so there will be two Yash coming. So, uh, so we will see you on Friday, and we'll see what's going to happen on Friday. But now, gentlemen, please face each other around this table. Boys, boys, slap down. Now, it's total big Maras. 118 is definitely, definitely a favorite for this left fight and just 3.95. But as we know, total bet may go wrong. So, gentlemen, slap down. And let's see how it goes. So, come on, not now. Yeah, great, great, great boys. So now, now the next pair and the next couple of places. Punch down. Yeah. Join the party. Białko od Sixpacka i cała reszta z kozackim rabatem. Użyj kodu PUNCH10 na Sixpack Nutrition Code. Satysfakcja z treningu w 100%. PUNCH DOWN In the second part of our conference and the sponsor for the second part is Unlimited Cryptocurrency Center with batch 5 and discount 5% for your first minor. Now, as if this is the second part, it's the third couple. So, the big, the huge from Brazil. Zulazinha, Brazil. Hello, hi, and the interpreter, and his opponent will be Bua, and Bua is a heavy attack. 
weightlifter. So the first international Polish-Brazilian tournament is going to be quite tough, but I have to, I have to ask this question to you. Zuluzinho, come on. So you have uh, many fights, MMA fights, and within the five in the legendary federation with such guys, Lanenko or Nogueira. So tell me, how is it uh, to be a part of this federation? I mean, you could fight. What were the emotions like then? Well, that was incredible emotion. I was really proud to be uh, able to fight with legends, uh, to look in those beasts' faces and actually fight them. Boa, now you. Boa. Come on, come on. Wait, 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 wait. You are a son of a baker? No, because with Boa means like a roll. You know, why, why do they call you a Boa, which is a roll? Well, because my dad used to uh, was used to work for a bakery. Okay, come on. Now, so let's stay with. Uh, so, how are you going to hit? Um, Op is going to be a conventional one and okay right now listen it's you're going to represent Poland uh, against uh, Brazil well I thought someone else would be ni my number one but then I found out uh, that it's going to be Zulazinho I had to really prepare well so who was your uh, who wanted you to fight I wanted to fight another guy but I won't reveal you the name okay okay all right now as I'm looking at your physical condition Zulazinho I'm thinking Come on, you really quite a guy, a big guy, and most probably you are the best uh, earning uh, fighter because you've got like, quite a lot of advertising space on your body. So, Zuluzinho, you faced uh, Vasily, you know, this uh, Russian slap fighter, and Vasily was here also at the punch down three. So, how good is Vasily, and what do you think of his chances so if he were to fight with you? If you were to fight again, who would win? Na verdade, eu tenho vontade de ter esse desempate, porque o evento foi empatado na Rússia. Nunca tive participado desse, desse evento. Para mim é, é novidade, porque eu sou acostumado a nocautear de mão fechada, não de mão aberta. Então, foi novidade para mim. E agora eu pretendo, sim, se chegar a ter esse desempate, será ótimo. Well, that uh, fight was something new to, uh, to me because um, I uh, usually fight with my fist and not open palm, uh, but uh, I do think there will be a chance to uh, meet Vasily again and to see who the real winner is, because uh, it was a draw last time, by the way, so Lusinia and Vasily fought and they had five attempts and uh, it was actually uh, a draw. Now, Bula, tell us, you are the new guy here. Now, you're looking at this really huge guy, but now, look, look at his eyes. Look into his eyes. What do you see in his eyes? Look, such a good, cuddly boy. No, 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 but he's not looking directly into my eyes. No, come on, but boy, he's also a nice guy. Look, look at this smile. Two nice gentlemen fighting against each other. No, but so, I, so heavyweight is what we actually like in this federation. Now, Zuluzinho, everyone is thinking, how is it that you are now here together with us? How, what was your way to punch down? entrar em contato comigo por causa da, da minha luta com na verdade eu tenho um contrato é, no na Rússia os caras me acharam grande com a mão grande se impressionaram com isso tudo e fizeram o um convite para mim é, tá participando que eu não tinha coragem de participar desse evento como no Brasil é conhecido como um evento bizarro então é, muita gente não, não não tinha coragem de vir eu sou um cara que tenho dúvida nas coisas e curiosidade, tive a curiosidade de vir participar e hoje estou é, aqui, <risos> mais uma vez, e graças ao meu empresário aí, que é o, o cara que está me colhendo aí, achando várias, <risos> várias, vários tesouros.
Well, uh, I was invited um, and slip fighting in Brazil is something new, but I'm curious about it. I also would like to see what's happening, uh, like trying out new things. Uh, so, and you see, guys, I'm a big guy with big hands, so it may be interesting. So, this is all how it started, and so now I'm here to, due to my friend and due to uh, the great promoter who is also here. Now, another question in the context of MMA, you fought 22 times and 12 times times you won. Within uh, that, how many times, apart uh, from Vasily, you had to, to fight uh, at a table like this? How many times have you been actually slap fighting? Once, only once. So now it's going to be the second time. Okay, and if, if you were training that MMA thing, right? So did you do Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu as well? And do you have a belt, a Brazilian belt? And what kind of belt do you have? In what kind of sport do you have it? Well, yes, yes, uh, uh, Jiu-Jitsu, Muay Thai, Box and so on, so on jiu -jitsu, and uh, the Black Belt in Jiu-Jitsu. Oh, wow. Gosh, respect. Now, Zulusini, another question. Before you got here to punch down, what did you know about Poland? E poloneses, que graças a Deus são bem carinhosos com todo mundo. É o Bula, o cara que já está tranquilão, o cara também aí. Amei essa cidade. Very good. Well, actually, I knew nothing about Poland, and so I'm happy to be here, and everyone is so welcoming, and ev all, everyone is cool here, and uh, really chilled out, and just sitting here and enjoying the company. Listen, listen about this, and come on, the bull is sitting here, no? but, bull, uh, but bull is far away from you. So, I mean, isn't that too sweetie and nicey over here? Oh, kissy kissy, boysy. I mean, come on, you'll have to hit the guy into his face. And look, look, look at his face now. Uh, I've got my wife. I have a wife. I'm a married man. No, there is no aggression. Come on, why aggression? No, it doesn't. Yeah, we hit each other, but it's fine. We're cool. We're cool about it. It's sports. Uh, so, after the fight, you will take the guy and uh, have a shot of vodka with him? Sure. Now, uh, Zuluzini, have you ever heard of the Polish vodka? Because once you drink Polish vodka, you drop down. Ah, you've heard about the Polish vodka, yeah? I know, I know, I know. Okay, guys, uh, yeah, come on. Cheers, guys. Have fun. Really giants, uh, come on guys, let's go to the table, let's have a look at each other, two really, really, really big giants, so last time uh, looking at each other, just before the fight, and uh, now let's see. So let's see here, 143 and Bullet is 250, let's get slapped down, let's get slapped down. And once again, say hello okay. to each other and see okay. how it goes. All right, so today you're smiling, but uh, there will be no smiles on next uh, Friday. Okay, guys, one of you is going to be down. We'll see, because you too big to Checking for me, no one checking on me, so I had to go run up a check. I got the message, told me, get no flexing on me. My attorney gon' call and collect. Blessings on blessings for me, my success has only made them envious, they got upset. And now, my dear, time for the fourth fight. And we'll have the bear, Niedźwiecz, coming to us as number one in the fourth tournament pair. Standing opposite on the other side of the table is Tujo. All 
right. Niedźwiedź makes a debut, but we've already had two job before. Niedźwiedź, it's your debut. We were talking to this cool guy Zolzinho from Brazil, and you jumping on his place because there was Lopez and he had problem with his elbow. Were you too poor to be in the original card and then they said we take in the bird because he's had an injury? Well, I couldn't make up my mind whether this is my job or not and I just put down my name too late so they offered me to be one of the extras. Why weren't you? Why didn't you decide? He was afraid, he was afraid. Of course I wasn't afraid, no. I wasn't afraid, that one for sure. Okay, so what was the reason? Tell me. Well, in the beginning I thought it was okay, okay, yeah, yeah, you know, come on. We have the hosts here, the owners. If you don't know what's going on, it's the money. So that's a short shot. Dujo, originally you were to stand here against Lopez from Brazil, but he injured his elbow. Do you prefer to fight the bear than Lopez from Brazil? Well, I didn't fight him uh, before, but I prefer a teddy bear like that from an MMA guy. Well, yeah, you're right, that one was uh, Lopez. So it minimized my risk. Oh, wow. You were here once and you had them get you. What happened? You decided to return here, but you were here once, but I wasn't beaten even once. And you know, I'm here in the glasses because they don't beat people in the glasses. But you know, there's a queue of those who want to beat you. Oh, fuck. Can I join this queue? Okay, no, let's let's change the subject. Hey, guys, let's change the subject. They say you lost 40 kilos. 30 over 30, over 30. How long did it take? Was it really killing you? Did you need it? How much is left? It took me three, four months. It was not killing myself. Well, you are tired because you need to run down the number of calories. The calories intake goes down. How much is left? At the moment, I believe 130, that's more or less what I weigh. 160, yes, it was 160 plus the moustache. Hey, I see, I see. Huh? Moustache, you see? Okay, they both have beards and moustaches. Okay, how about your nickname? Why the bear? I love bears. Well, it's my friend's idea. We just went drinking and he started calling me that. Oh, it's just like yours. It was similar, but that was at many drunk parties. Okay, I understand you were watching Punchdown, you decided to come here, was it your own decision? You were not decided, but you decided, and you here. When the hosts called you and said Lopez is not coming, you coming to fight, what did you feel? In the beginning I was a bit stressed, but after a moment I just took my backpack, I didn't really know how to get ready, so I just started practicing and we were doing some improvisation. Hey, that's interesting. Okay, how long, well, Zalesh already knows all his ins and outs, but how about you going to uh, a gym, you come out to a guy and say, well, man, help me, we're going to do punch down. How can you get ready? Because it's not giving but getting that's the problem. I'll just get, I'll just get that blow and, well, speaking about giving, it's dynamics and speak. So, rubber bands, yes, most than rubber bands. Certainly. Okay, we now have that chap saying why you decided to come. And you returning or coming back, what was your previous experience? Can you change something in your preparations? How does it go? Well, you certainly need to know that there's a new table. Oh, because you were with the old one, it was wider. Yes, there were extra 10 centimeters, so this is certainly going to influence how we're going to hit. So you say that 10 centimeters makes a lot of difference? Yes, 10 centimeters at a table like that, that's a huge difference to me. 
even at gala number three, some people really missed it. They were just touching with the fingertips. Yes, yes, that's right. Someone was taller, it was shorter for the shorter one to hit him. Okay, table is one thing. The other thing is that there's this stage fright, which takes away some of your strength coming out to the room, especially now that you're among people. Is this going to motivate you or demotivate? Certainly people will give us power because it's always that. You can always come with your fan club. They're going to chant your name. That's certainly going to help. And of course, stress kills you. It eats you up. You need to keep your head le at level. Some counsel for the bear that he's not stressed before his debut. Come on, it's going to be quick. Would you rather he shaved his beard? It's going to be quick. Yeah. I'm not a quick bear. Bears are not quick, no. Okay, not for me to judge, but we'll see on Friday, but to see it, you need to buy pay-per-view. And of course, we very cordially encourage all of you from my raffling, because then hosts have less, and why do you need that money? I don't have my raffling, but yes, use it. I believe that we need to invite the other gentleman, Tripson. You'll have an opportunity to see the table. Okay, we've got Tripson. Gentlemen, come over. Table, time to look into the eyes. Just before the Friday night, look into each other's eyes. The fight is starting even now. You can get ready now for slapdown. Okay. Hey, these are big hands. Oh my, they're moving them in front of my face. That's going to be quite a lot, quite a lot. Thank you, gentlemen. See you. See you, gentlemen. Band down. Join the party. Białkot six packa i cała reszta z kozackim rabatem. Użyj kodu punch 10 na six pack nutrition code. Satysfakcja z treningu w 100%. Punch down. And this part is sponsored by Meet Club, a new dimension of meeting people online, take it from App Store or Play and get free coins with punch down code. Hey, you are single. How about Meet Club? Are you proposing? Thank you, thank you. Okay. Now, speaking of women, because I believe you wanted to propose that I get a woman, now it's time for the fifth fight and we will invite women. The first of them is Valdek, a boy's name but a woman she is. And she'll be standing opposite the world champion, WBC world champion, the Tigress. Join us. Okay, so I'm starting from the big end. Valdek. Okay, we have women fighting, and I say Valdek, and Valdek is a boy's name. How come they call you Valdek? As I said before, 
that was how my father called me. Okay, hello, Dad. Hi, Father. Okay, it was beautiful how you got the gypsy down at punch down four. Is this how you're going to work on Eva, who also is used to fighting with fists? Yes, of course, I would like to turn the lights off. I made some mistakes fighting Ola the Gypsy and I improved. So it's only going to be better now. Because, of course, you come from judo, as far as I remember. You also went for K1. Less, K1 less. But, yes, culmination was judo. Ten years of judo. And on the other hand, we have WBC World Boxing Champion. How do you feel before a debut here? I don't feel the nerves yet. Usually, it was on the day of the fight that I felt adrenaline, and I believe it's going to be the same here. Well, before the gala, I approached and I said, well, I found the nickname, our Tigress. Do we call you Tigress? Yes, it's just when I started my professional boxing career, I still played uh, rugby and these were the tigresses from our Sohacze. Oh, wow. Okay, one more thing about professional sport. You normally have fists and you have gloves. You get hit through gloves. It's an open hand which often cuts the skin. Aren't you afraid that this may happen differently and that it's going to be much more hurtful than from a glove. I don't know. I'm really very curious how it is to get a blow like that. And I think this is the greatest question mark in front of me. You know, I've got a lot of blows on my face and not only, but you were working in gloves. I didn't block all of them because you always get some of those juicy ones, strong, which would never block, but no, I've never been hit seriously with an open hand. Did you see Valdek against the Gypsy? Yes, I was there. And what's your opinion? I attacking, Monica was fantastic, but in defense, she was lifting her shoulders, so this is something that she's going to eliminate this time. But, well, that was probably not intentional. That's the hardest thing in this sport. It's, you know, unconditional respect. No, not on purpose. Imagine that one of them wouldn't close the eyes being hit. You can't do it, so can't have been intentional at all. Perhaps, but but we need to master that. Okay, let me now ask. I know that you had an appetite to fight against the men. We not giving any names, but I know that there were some names proposed. Do you still want to? Would it be an octagon and MMA? I said earlier that yes, I would go for such a challenge. Yes, of course, in my weight category, it wouldn't be a problem to come out and to fight. Well, in Angela, I heard that she's now fighting for a man in a duel. Hey, how about Lee Masti? Would you fight her? I would probably come out alive. I don't think she would. But sh you were were never with Taxi Złotowa? Yeah, there was such an option, only that he didn't turn up. Oh, fuck, he shed his uh, pants? No, he did. Okay. Now, get the Pujanowski. Now, imagine you get over Valdek. What then? A longer romance with our federation? What is your far-reaching plan. If I like this fight, if I find it is something I can go on doing, I'd love to come to more punch-down galas. Okay, let me continue. The only fight you lost in your whole career was against Eva Brodnicka. Would you like to fight here. No, that was not any lost fight. That was a dirty trick. In my boxing career, I showed that I stand up to all the challenges. With her, she's got nothing to hit with, so I wouldn't be afraid. Okay, so now I'm smiling to the organizers and owners. S invite Eva Brodnicka then. That's going to be interesting. Valdek, that's going to be your second duel. What did you learn standing at the table? 
Bible with the gypsy. Że nie dajesz ręki do wróżenia. That you're not giving her her hand for her to tell you your fortune. I'm not going to disclose all those, but you drew conclusions. Oh, of course I did. Okay, does it make any impression on you to have a WBC world champion standing opposite? No, no, it doesn't make that impression. It's just like I said before, I have a lot of respect and humility to Eva as a champion and fighter and athlete. Congratulations with everything you've achieved, but I believe that her box and my judo won't be helpful. The principles are different. You need to live through it, get and give. So if you win, you want to stay in our federation and you'd like to stand against the man. If I succeed, yes. So if we have a man here, I know, I know. How much do you wait? 93, 94, 93, 4, something like that. I'm taking you. And what's your weight? 69 at the moment. Okay, I just want to change one thing. I've never, or no, we will never organize a man against woman. Eva Brodnicka, speaking of her, if there is nothing in the contract and the viewers would like to, because it also depends on you, we can do it. And also we have now contract for one fight with our tigress <laughs> and we'll fight on. Okay, so the host promised there's no men standing against women. I understand why. And now let's go get back to the sport. How is it for people who work professionally on it? And you as a professional see this punch down. What did you think when you saw girls just slapping their faces? I immediately knew that uh, this is something for me I've got to try. I came to, I believe, punch down three. And leaving, I already knew that I would be at one of the future punch down fights. I'm just looking now at all of you at this professional sport. I'm talking MMA, K1, fist fighters. Look, always the people who do sports professionally, they come to those slap fights. Is this the way to go? Is this something important now? Is it something you can't live without? I believe that some examples have shown that just your sports achievements are not enough. You've got to get some more promotion in fighting in the federations that are not only focused on sports fans. And there's no reason to be ashamed that you're doing both. Okay, Eva and Waldek, something we're going to see on Friday 22nd. To see it, you need to buy pay-per-view. And we very cordially invite you for that. And now we invite Tripson. I have one question to Eva. Good, the first question. Eva, I'd like to ask you that you tell all the people here why you giving conditions concerning weight and the table, because looking at the girl who was here before me, there was eight kilo less, no titles, and she didn't give any um, conditions, and you're a world champion. Why do you ask those conditions? Because that's something you don't ask. Speaking about the table, I believe that there should be equal rights. We hit as strongly as boys. Why should we fight at a pink table for dolls? I think it's not serious. We should fight uh, along the same principles as people in the tournament. And weight-wise, it's like in boxing, you have weight categories. If I don't have to fight with somebody who weighs 10 kilo more than I do, why? And if you agree, there's no problem, all right. But it's that nobody mentions it loud, but comparing to Ola, shorter, untitled, and she was standing opposite you, and she didn't impose anything. Okay, she has her principles, I have mine. I discussed it on the radio. Oh, sorry, I never heard it. Okay, no, it's no secret for me that we agreed for a weight limit. What is it? 68. What's your weight now? A bit less. And you? Okay, you know mine. I've got to adjust, so I'd like to know yours. And you? I just said 69. 69, yeah? Okay, 67 is me.
Teraz trzeba podpiąć dziewczynę pod wariograf. Okay. No, you lift them and to check. Do we have any weights or scales in the room? That was strange for me and I just wanted to know and I wanted everyone to know. Okay, thank you. Okay, Tripson. It's getting hot, it's getting hot. Okay. We see that some things are starting to smoke. Girls ready for slap down. I believe that we've got plenty of emotions and plenty of strength. There's definitely going to be more than in just two women standing opposite. They really can hit you strong. Thank you very much. Checking for me, no one checking on me, so I had to go run up a check. I got the message on me, ain't no flexing on me. My attorney gon' call and collect. Blessings on blessings for me, my successes only made them envious. They got upset. I had to put all their egos in check. I want the money to pass. Bunch down. Join the party. Białko od Sixpacka i cała reszta z kozackim rabatem. Użyj kodu PUNCH10 na Sixpack Nutrition Code. Satysfakcja z treningu w 100%. PUNCH DOWN Hello again, and the next part of the conference and the sponsor for this part is Six Pack Nutrition. With Punch 1010 go to you get a discount and we have uh, just seen our uh, first ladies to fight but that is not the only women's uh, fight and uh, you will have to wait to see the second couple of uh, um, female fights because there is, there is a lot of tension there is a lot of tension down there so and uh, now the time is uh, for the sixth couple it's going to be permanent Poland against Slovakia and uh, Alligator, And his opponent will be a representative of Poland, Shiva. Well, actually, I have more gray hair than you have, man. That's fine. Alligator, who speaks Polish, so we are going to speak Polish and you're going to help us with your friend. So, you've been to Zakopane, right? We're neighbors anyway. Listen, so how is the fighting as popular in Slovakia as it is in Poland? Uh, you know, I've heard of slap fight only once. I wanted to try out and to see how it is. But uh, no, in Slovakia it was only once, but it was not that popular in Slovakia. Well, I will make it popular. Okay, okay. okay all right, all right. And together with us, we also have Shive and Shive. You're a bouncer, club bouncer, right? No, you're wrong. I'm wrong. Okay. Oh, come on. Yeah, I also heard that. I also heard that. Okay. So what do you do? 
Ano je box. I'm a boxer. Ze strony sportowej czy do, strony but, sportowej, do, tak, but tak. as a sportsman what I do? I'm a boxer. To I do I go to gym. So it's going to be boxer no against an armwrestler. Tak. Yes, more or less. Okay, because you see, we were prepared because we had some questions about bouncing at the club. Okay, right, now, but if you say that you're a boxer, so this means that it's just the same case. You have to receive blows, right, as a boxer. And I know that uh, in your life uh, you have um, had a couple of tough fights. Uh, but tell me, have you, uh, have you ever had any situation where you were being slapped with an open hand in your face? No. As you know, in boxing, it's all about the fist. And, uh, yes, and but not on the rain. Anyone slapped you? Well, if you're not in the rain, then anything goes. Anything can be used just to finish off the guy as soon as possible. So, and it's just uh, safer to use something else than a slap. And I have the question to Alligator now, because Alligator wants me to ask that question. So, I have to read out. Alligator is from 74. Uh, to 84 um, teeth um, in the jaws, and when these wear out or fall out, new ones uh, grow up. An alligator may have over 2,000 teeth in its lifetime. Unfortunately, we're not growing new ones. Aren't you afraid she will knock your teeth out? Well, if he knocks my teeth out, new teeth will grow out. Okay, an alligator also has those baby teeth. Well, in Slovakia, maybe you have different teeth. Anyway, oh yes, you can have grafting. Yes, you can have grafts. So to have grafts, but to, to have the grafts, you have to survive the tournament first, and it's not that uh, uh, cheap. Uh, and by the way, do you know how grafting costs right now? It's around 50,000. Yes, exactly. Uh, by the way, uh, the, our price is becoming more and more attractive. But I have another question to you. Listen, this is a Polish-Slovakian tournament. Does it mean that you, a representative of Poland now, you're better motivated to fight? Of course, I mean, I'm a patriot, and uh, I would like to represent us the best way I can and win, win for Poland. All right, and um, how about you? I asked the, the Brazilian guy about the Polish vodka, and I have a question. Do you drink Polish vodka in Slovakia? We drink everything, whatever, out there. I remember once we were going to Slovakia, and uh, from Zakopane went to Slovakia, you had those sweets and two beer, and one that beer was being opened opened up like that. It's good beer, isn't it? I'm not giving them... Um, but Polish beer is better. Oh, ah, wow. Okay, that's been recorded. Okay. Now, we said that 50,000 is to be won. 50,000 is uh, the price to be won. But what's on this table? That's an important thing. It's like here all the time. That's an important thing to have a look at, right? Now, let me know. That is the belt. And under the belt, we have our glasses with water. They say it's water. Maybe not. Uh, but it's for the first time ever. Because before that, after the tournament, we were just given the prize money. But in this case, it's going to be the belt as well. Well, so one of the 16 guys is going to get this punch down belt. Now, the question, the final question to Shiva. And uh, you're a newcomer. So why did you decide to come here? What made you come here? My car broke, so I need the money. And I need that belt. Oh, I love it. So, honest guy, broken car, I need the belt. Yeah. But, but if you lose, so what happens to the car if you lose? No, no option. I'm not losing. So how about alligator? Why did you come here? Also, a car broken or beer? Do you, do you like our beer? No, the organizers invited me, so I uh, accepted, um, accepted this invitation. Then I take the belt and go home. Right, but before you take the belt, guys, uh, go to the table and let's have a look. Now, gentlemen, time for letdown. Alligator. Total bet 2 0. Shiva 1 point. So, gentlemen, take your position and slap down time. And have a good look in your eyes. So, you're going to see each other on Friday. And it's going to be quite a rough time fight. Now, we're going to see who wins Poland or Slovakia. Gentlemen, many thanks.
checking for me, no one checking on me, so I had to go run up a check. I got the message, homie, ain't you no know, flexing on me, my attorney gon' call and collect. Blessings on blessings for me, my success has only made them envious, they got upset. I had to put out their egos. And now the seventh fight and uh, information to the producers. Before there was the sixth, it's not the sixth tournament, it's the sixth uh, uh, pair of fighters. And now the first one to be invited is Predator. Also the guy from Slovakia. Hi, Predator. Yes, and the uh, alligator will help the predator to interpret. And Shlepov, the blind man, is his opponent. Now, immediately, Shlepov, I have this question to you. Man, so you're a blind guy. So when you hit, you close your eyes and you, do, you don't, you don't uh, see what, where, how you hit. Well, it's just uh, this nickname was um, conjured up by my father's pal, and um, uh, I, th I thought that you were closing your eyes as you were drinking. Well, actually, that's important. You are a six-time champion, world champion, and also four-time European uh, weightlifting um, champion. So. So what's your record? What's your record? It's one and a half ton. One and a half ton. It's your record in uh, power lifting. And you started with 116 kilos. And what's your weight right now? It's 112 now. So I asked the alligator if uh, is this slap fighting is popular in Slovakia. No, it isn't. I know the answer. But now tell me if, um, as a power lifter, what do you think of this slap fight in here? I mean, how are we preparing as a power lifter for slap fight? Usually box, uh, MMA, and also with a lot of dynamics, dynamic training. Huge dynamics, powerful, horrible dynamics, right, fearful, fearsome dynamics. Now, the same question to you. You're the first time comer. You're a rookie, so why did you decide to come here? I was just spontaneous decision and guys, uh, my pals told me there is this punch and they were saying, hey, blind man, you're not going to fight. And you said, am I not going to fight? No, 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 we were just watching it and they thought that uh, they have to write about me because uh, they thought that I could do it. Yes, I'm looking at you and I think that you're fit for the job. I'm fit for the job. So what is your main uh, aim, to win or to fight against Salish? You find to uh, to fight against the champion, at least to meet the guys, just to meet the guys and to, to feel their strength. Yes, sir, uh, I, I asked Predator, now I'm asking you, now you, what is your current weight? It's 125, so you're a bit heavier than him. So do you think that uh, it will give you an advantage? Uh, because now we have new rules, so we cannot uh, uh, hit with the rotation from below. No, 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 take it easy, take it easy. So that's one thing, so you cannot go this way, it should be straight. And the second thing, you can only, um, you can aim only twice, but the third time it goes. Uh, because someone could just go for 30 minutes, 30 minutes, and then it got cold in the room, and then he finally hit. So, uh, I mean, you have those glasses and you wink at each other, oh, I see. So, uh, in this uh, case, we understand that the lever is the result of the body weight. Uh, well, the strength of the blow is the result of uh, your life experience and not of your weight. It's not just the body mass that determines the result. No, it's not that. I think that uh, we just whack him properly. And you were a handball player. When, when I was a young boy, yes, I was playing handball. So you can throw the ball well. Now, I remember at uh, PE, the handball guys, they can throw the ball. Karobil can throw a ball at a speed of 180 kilometers per hour. So it's quite a powerful thing. So what was your position? I was the left winger. I was the left winger. Yeah, because I'm left-handed. Ah, you're left-handed. So how fast could you throw the ball? I mean, what was the speed of the ball? I, uh, it was the so-called hairdresser. And if the so-called hairdresser was hitting, whacking against the head of the goalkeeper, the goalkeeper was knocked down senseless. Okay, now let's go back to Predator. So why did you decide to come here in our federation? The organizers called me and um, 
They showed me the video. We also saw how the watermelons were being whacked by the other guys, and I thought, ah, watermelons. Uh, so, but why did you hit the watermelon? No, not just for the fun of it. Uh, so, do you think that his head is going to snap just like the watermelon? Everything is possible. Anything is possible. Oh, there was that song. Oh, I can do it all. Right, okay. Guys, now please use uh, the off the bids at uh, Total Bet and set your accounts up. That's the official bookmaker. And um, those who register with the punch down barcode will receive a discount. And now we can bet for this fight. And I have another question because I asked the Mar uh, uh, Maras and, and I'm going to ask you. Predator about the same question. No, pardon, pardon, monsieur. It was the question to you, alligator. So if you move on with your fight, you're going to meet Maras. And, and so that was the question to you. So would that for you be an ambitious fight as an arm wrestler against an arm wrestler? I respect Maras. I'm glad that uh, we are in one sports uh, team, so to speak, with one sports spirit. We're going to do things together. It's sports. I respect the guy. And let the better win. But are you going to do some arm wrestling after the gala? Maybe <laughs> in uh, before the gala, why not? Uh, come on, how about now? How about now? <laughs> come on, gentlemen, they respect, they respect each other, but uh, undoubtedly Tripso is really the good guy. The, the guy is uh, uh, good at inviting guys to the table. And let's have a little face-to-face. -face. Yes, another tournament. Poland against Slovakia. Let's get slapped down. Oh yes, this is the fearsome game. The long is going to happen. So the beds are Predator 155 and the blind man 2.20. Gentlemen, many thanks. Next Friday, we're going to see who the winner is. Punch down. Join the party. Białkot six pack and całą resztę z kozackim rabatem. Użyj kodu punch 10 na six pack nutrition code. Satysfakcja z treningu w 100%. Punch down. part of our great meeting and the sponsor is Foot Design. With the punch down code you have 9% of discount um, dietetic catering company and uh, on the 22nd of October we will meet again and to do by pay per view because as you can see we have big guys here, wonderful girls here and it's going to be quite fine. So without any further ado let us move on to the eighth fight of the punch down gala and Brazilian. Thiago. Thiago, come and join us. Oh, God, this one's got a hand. And uh, champion of Punch uh, Down 3, Captain Punch Down 4, Salad, is going to be his opponent. Yeah, he's got a big hand as well, but we know that. 
So, from, with my love to MMA Tiago, you have uh, fought 14 times uh, as a MMA fighter. So, how many times have you been fighting as a slap fighter? That's the first time when I'm taking part in it and I'm interested. Well, I'm going to, I'd like to see how it all goes. Zalesz. So, actually, none of the guys have got a big hand like he has. I mean, does the size of the bomb matter? Because Vasily was a small guy. Well, that's actually to his disadvantage. So, if it's a big palm, it means that he is, uh, it's going to be slower and it's going to be softer. You know, it's all about physics. Listen, Tiago, show your hand, by the way. And can you compare the palms? Shall we compare the palms of your hands? Hand to hand. Hand to hand. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Show it to the camera. Come on. Show it. Show it. Show it. G. Have a look. Hand to hand. It's the first hand to hand in the history of our federation. It's a big one. It is a big one. Oh, this is a huge one. Oh, girls are probably already thinking what these hands are capable of. So tell me, where have you been when you haven't been here? So I was watching it at home. At home. <laughs> and uh, what were you drinking? I don't remember. So what do you think of the previous gala? We were not fighting. Well, the level was a good level, but I think it, that it was semi-heavy, a uh, body weight uh, category, but now it's going to be real heavy. Do you regret of uh, not fighting in, in the previous gala? Do I regret? Well, I would not have lost 20 kilograms within 20 months. Yes, because there was a limit, there was a weight limit yet last time. Yes, and that's why some of the fighters had to lose uh, 30 to 40 kilos of weight. And uh, so the prize money from your second gala and from the third gala, what did you spend the money on? Well, I had some fun. And then the rest of the money is still there waiting to be spent. So at, uh, then first you won 20,000, then 30,000. Now, uh, then it was 10,000 more, and now it's 50,000. So it was 20, it was 30, and now it's 50,000 that I'm going to win. So I'm going to win. Are you going to win? Of course I'm going to, going to win. This is why I'm here. Now, I asked him about Vasily. Was he the toughest uh, opponent yet? No, he wasn't the toughest. No, he wasn't strong. No, he wasn't uh, strong. I mean, it, it looked as it looked. But uh, I know what I felt. But, but it was painful. It was painful. I remember your face, swollen face. It took you some time to recover. I mean, it wasn't that bad. Well, yeah, of course my face was swollen, it was rather unpleasant, but so what? I mean, that's a kind of sport. Now, Tiago, how about you? You have flown 8,000 kilometers from Brazil. You are a rookie, uh, you're a newcomer, and immediately you're going to face a, a two-time champion. Was it worth traveling so far to immediately face the uh, two-time champion? Yes, definitely worth it, because it doesn't distance doesn't matter. It's what I worth matters. So what's the worth? What's the well, what do you think of uh, these uh, fighters here? So what do you think about other guys who are going to fight in Poland? Well, they're good fighters, uh, but uh, undoubtedly many guys here are big guys, so immediately this uh, makes it all more difficult. So Zuzunio is a black belt holder in Jiu-Jitsu, and uh, I spoke to one of your friends, uh, also got a, a winning belt. So. Do you know anything about uh, Brazilian martial arts? Also, um, uh, do you have the champion's belt? No, I do not have the champion's belt. So we spoke about your palms. So as Zalish says, the big palm may be a disadvantage because you may hit the, the ear or you can uh, overdo something. So the big palms, is it good or bad for you? 
I think it's to my advantage. Zalesh, Zalesh, I need to ask you about uh, uh, Kostras, uh, the champion of punch down four. What do you think of him? Kostras, tough hit, definitely, because no one could knock him out. But as I'm saying, but it's what not, it was not heavyweight. Now it's going to be heavyweight. So we will verify the results. We'll see. Now, how about your dream final? Who? against you. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm going to win. That's my goal. I'm here to win. It doesn't matter with him, with whom. I'm just here to win. So because if my memory serves me well, uh, punch down two was easy for you. Not too many guys were capable of hitting you because uh, uh, twice I started and twice my opponent started. But punch down three was uh, more difficult. In punch down three, you had to receive more blows. Yes, and the opponent was always starting. So after each uh, blow, I was already shocked a bit. But you have won twice on two occasions. So, so you are the guy who has uh, the greatest experience in our federation. So what is your advice uh, to all newcomers? Well, I don't know because uh, the rules keep changing and the table is narrow. But as far as piece of advice is concerned, no, I'm not going to advise anyone on anything. So how about the costs? Because costs kind of pushes forward with the uh, blow, but now the rules have been changed. Well, of course, uh, he was kind of moving it, but then at that time the judges allowed it. Uh, so uh, he, he could also be hit, uh, hit the same way by the others. But now we have new rules. Um, what do you think of them? Well, I'm glad. I'm glad that uh, we are going to have a proper fight with uh, open hand uh, and without delivering the blow from below. Now, looking at the table of results, there is a probability that you two-time champion and Kostrich will actually meet in the final. So. Kostrash was uh, showing like this. Kostrash, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. It's my eyes on you. So, is there anything that you would like to say to each other at this table? But we'll have to wait for that. Well, if we meet, we meet, and then we'll see. Shall we ask Tripson? We shall. Good time. Good time. Stop talking, guys. Let's go to the table, guys. And the time for slap down. Let's have a look. A deep look. Total bad bids is the following. 115 for Zalic. And for Diago is 4.30. But gee, this man has got a hand. Diago's hand is really big. So this could be quite interesting. Probably many guys will know about that. So once again, gentlemen, look at each other. There is no way back. On Friday, you are going to be here. And the really big players are going to fly around. See ya. Checking for me, no one checking on me, so I had to go run up a check. I got the message on me, ain't no flexing on me, my attorney gon' call and collect. Blessings on blessings for me, my successes only made them envious, they got upset. I had to put all their egos in check. I want the money, the power, respect, and I heard you know so-and-so, you not a threat, cause I really know so-and-so, they like my family, so they go pretend that they cool till they bust at your motherfucking chest. I'm getting gutter, my flow been like butter, my check in the bank, they see the... And now it's time for the ninth pair. The last pair. Let's see. We'll see the champion of punch down four. Kostrzech. Time for Kostrzech. Join us, Kostrzech, here. And standing opposite him will be Perez. And we'll have Perez. That's a big hit. Just emotions and welcome. Hey, I'm, I'm going to have my hand aching for two weeks. Well, good, we said. And now they are we welcoming us nicer. Good. Okay, it's good. We only have girls now for the end. Okay? Come on. Right?
Okay. So I see you uh, waving to Zalesh. We'll be back to the most important fight in a moment, but I believe that you're treating it personally, very personally. Zalesh is loaded like a bus to for a pilgrimage, and I'm going to unload him. Well, if I manage to meet him, and I hope we will, because he is my goal. Well, speaking of this semi-big fight, he was right. There was a limit, 120 kilograms, and I had to lose 10. So I feel different now. I am stronger, only stronger now, thanks to that. Are you better than Zalesh? Come on, that's no question. But you're not going to use your technique. Of course, of course. And you can't press your chin to chest. No, no, there are different strange situations that happened and that are not going to happen again. We are the only professional slap fighter federation. We have no one to learn, no one to look up to. All those come in fight. It's only the fifth gala and all of them are changed, are decided. Perez, what did you feel when you realized that you'll start from punch down for champion Kostrzech? Well, in the beginning, I told my wife that I'm going to move. Okay, play the lotto. Well, perhaps you should have named somebody else. No, all right. I'm one of the lighter waiters. Lightweight people. At the photo was 104, now it's 115. Oh, you improved, you improved. Okay, that was four days ago. I'm getting a better uh, breakfast. What was it? Three? Three weeks, 10 kilo? Yeah. I can, I can take you for practice. Okay, maybe I put up 10. Would you like to see Perez training with him? Perez, you're doing some rap, yeah? We could probably find something we could do together. Kostrzech, a question that everyone wants to know. How do you spend the money? There was a lot. I've got four children, so 10 to each? It was 40,000 zloty. No, it wasn't that good, but yes, there, there were things to spend. And the 50 will be spent as well. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I can collect this belt as well. It's going to be a formality only. No, you know, it's in deposit with me. You can fight with me. You've got to fight against me. Fight you? Hey, hey, move, move men away. There's a queue of people who want to fight you. Who would you like to fight in the finals? Zalesh? Yes, of course, but as I said before, just look at who's there to fight. There are people to fight, and I will fight them. They are all tough men. You do some rapping. Okay. So how can you rhyme Kostrzech? Perhaps let's put it aside. Yesterday I was recording a clip. Where did you record it? With Butcher in Torun? With Butcher? Hey, I know him. He's a cool guy. So maybe let's get down to fighting. Kostrzech said that he is dreaming about the finals. Yes, there's still Perez on the way. Well, in the beginning there's this small tank. If he manages to destroy that small tank, then it works well. No, I'm only motivated by the fact that he is the champion. Cool approach. That was my approach at four. Of course, Zalesh wasn't there, but there were others. There was Max, also does some rapping. No, sorry, it's his brother. Okay, yes, yes, they were recording things. Okay, so... Guys, guys, I was asking the Tigress whether this trend that we have now, professionals, athletes who go to other para-sport events, that also happens with the people singing rap. Look, there are plenty of them who are coming into those sports conflicts. Yes, of course, not only in Punchdown, because you see them also in MMA, in different groups and in different categories. I'm saying everything is for people. The question is whether you put your heart into the fight, whether you are uh, doing it for money, or whether you're doing it because you're an athlete. How do you approach getting ready? You said you were recording in Torin, so were you just working with Copernicus there? You know it? Yeah, yeah, I know, of course. No, come on. I've had my own gym in Germany. I live in Germany, and recently I've had an Olympic 
boxing champion, German guy, a man of nearly 60. He was um, a champion at the Olympics, silver medal list, and he was getting me ready. Okay, well, we also have those professional places like... Um, well, it's Leverkusen. We've got a very good uh, group of people there. And he was now a champion. Privately, are you getting into MMA? Are you getting into what? I've been doing sports for 19 years. And all my life has been sport. Sport trains you and fills your character. I come from a family which was not that wealthy and the sport was always there and pushed me on through the life. And it helped with money. We opened a company, then another, then another. And sport has always helped. You said you did some rapping, but what sport? you were doing. I know that bodybuilding is something that you were long in. You're not afraid. Where is Maras? Maras recently put down a guy like that, a bodybuilder. Bodybuilding is different. I run a construction company, 19 years working hard on construction side. Functionality, functionality. Okay. Take, take those loads to the fourth floor and you'll see. That's not what gets your hands like that. Can you show your hand to the camera? Oh my, that's a nice I wouldn't... Do you hit with this one or with the other? No, with the other. Good, okay, that's good. Okay, now it's often so that when they hear that you do uh, bodybuilding or something, they say, okay, you're a bodybuilder. You're just pumped up. Nobody likes pigeonholing. No, but they pigeonhole you. I read it online and that's what bookies wrote about me that our fight is just a formality. You don't know how we have practiced. Okay, Perez is going to prove it's not a formality. Will it be a formality for you? Perez is a rung in the ladder that will take me up and we'll see. Anything can happen, but I'm here to win again and to prove to everyone that Punch Down 4 was not a coincidence. I just would like to remind you, we'll see the gentleman at, on Friday and please buy pay-per-view. And we've got a great competition for you. It can be from Kostrzech Refling, it's better from mine. But we don't know whether Kostrzech will survive the tournament. I will certainly survive. We have a great competition. Everyone who buys pay-per-view, you can win a sports car, more information and what to do on our website. So buying pay-per-view, you can win a sports car, as easy said before, 250,000 slot. So yes, you're going to get it. In a moment, I'll invite Tripson, but before that, information for you, don't move away, because just in a moment, there will be smoke, because Patusha and Esmeralda will come out, and they'll be there on the couch. So we are finishing the last duel with a slap down. Tripson, come here. Gentlemen, time to face each other at the table slap down. and Position slap position down. Push position, look into the eyes, a lot of testosterone, testosterone in the air in both. Okay, there's plenty of emotions. Hey, what's going on? Take it easy guys, take it easy guys. On Friday, on Friday, you'll explain it to each other. Wait, wait, there is a request to you. Could you stay for another moment? Can somebody please put the table back? No, you said that you would like to meet Zalish in the finals. And I can see that scenario and I believe that many people would like to see it. If I may, can I invite Zalish to the table? Zalish, if you don't mind. Two champions with two champions stand opposite. It's definitely then going to be a good view. I believe that many of us would like to see that duel. Two champions, two fighters opposite. Are they going to do the same? Are they going to pound their faces? There is such an option. 
All right, high five. Thank you, gentlemen. Band down. Join the party. Białko od six packa i cała reszta z kozackim rabatem. Użyj kodu PUNCH10 na six pack nutrition code. Satysfakcja z treningu w 100%. PUNCH DOWN Welcome to the last part of the conference and gala Punchdown 5. We always have sponsors, now it's Extreme Hobby, sports clothes by our collection from Punchdown tab at Extreme Hobby. EU. And now for you what you were waiting longest which is the second extra fight in which it's going to be hot. Let me explain. We were supposed to do it there on the couch, but there was too much tension between the girls. They must sit far away from each other. The distance helps. So you'll have Esmeralda meeting Patusha. Hello. Hello, welcome. Ja od razu muszę, słuchajcie, bo to mówiłaś ty, Esmeralda. Esmeralda, that was you. You said that Papusia should take pampers because she may have problems. Fear or laughter? I wrote, I didn't say it. It's just, you'll see it on the 22nd, that she should put panty. Why do you have this disinterested thing? I don't like to be artificially nice to people for whom I have no respect and no friendship. Where does it come from? Well, we didn't know each other at all, and she touched certain strings concerning my family. These are the things and the subjects that should not be discussed, and it's so because where you mustn't put your nose, you don't put it, because your teeth don't fall out from sweets only. Hey, that's cool. We were discussing alligators before. I wonder what you're going to answer. How I'm going to answer? Honey, I have something for you here to make things easy. I'm not... S I haven't got that much venom as you do. Patricia already looks now like half a pumpkin. What is the in a lady's handbag? It can take time. No, you are the pumpkin size. You'd like to have my bod. Well, one day you had it, but that was ages ago. Wait, I've got something for you because we will be neighbors, so it would be good, you know, to have something. I'm not saying my welcomes to you, but I found something. You were talking about the Rakowice Cemetery. No, she should really enjoy it because it's an honor to lie there because there are only great people lying there. Look, look, that's especially for you, especially for you, honey, because I know that you like all those prosthetics. 
So this is a subject for you, those people who left this world, you want to laugh at that? How about drinking that? I should piss into your head, you should put your brain below into your head. No, that's for me because I'm a lady. I don't drink with whores. Cool. Unless you want to drink it from the bottle. I don't drink with the whores. Okay, you didn't show. I've got a shake, so because I'm the healthy one, not what you are. Do you want to know how much I weigh? Okay, gentlemen, please. It looks very cool. It looks cool. So you're not drinking. Okay, okay. All right, I know that you're quite silly, but I'm repeating for the third time. I don't drink with whores. Did, did it get to you? Did it get through? I don't know, uh, you've got very poor pronunciation. I think that instead of a hat, you should have a brain on. You'd like to have my brains. Oh, something's dropped, something's dropped. Perhaps you will lean down. You can lean down to my feet, that would be cool. Well, your feet are something that half the city sees and all the clients who are using your sexual services. Be lucky you're here and I'm from a big city, not from the little village like you. The list of your clients, hey, hey, fatty, fatty, stop. Well, I've got two jobs. My third profession is to be on TV. So who's talking about clients, honey? Okay. Hey, hey, take it easy, take it easy. Um, tell you that for your race, you are barking too much. Hey, mongrel. No, you're the mongrel. Hey, hey, don't stop, don't stop. She's fucked in the mind, isn't she? What am I supposed to talk to her? Okay. Okay, if we have nothing to say, then we're not talking, all right? How do you say? Honey, what is silver and what is gold? Silence is gold. I can give you some gold now. Shut up. Hey, you're glistening more than you are. Okay. There's this brocade vodka, especially for you, pink, for the color of brain you always were. <laughs> Hey, glitzy. I'm not repeating it for the... I hate repeating things, but I find you a whore and I have no clue how happened that you're here. And how did you, they get that no name for the punch down? I've done more than you, fat bitch. You only put things into your face and sang some uh, Christmas carols. You've got 12,000 followers. Well, your followers are the, perhaps because you're on the porn channels, at least I don't do porn career. That's why my all followers are true. And these are people who watched various programs with me. But are they the ones when you're singing to a vibrator or what? I've got those where you sing Christmas carols. And well, okay, we'll, yeah, 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 you will be singing on Christmas Day like all the carps that are going to be killed. Hey, can you switch her microphone off? Okay, tell us how you're getting ready. Hey, could you please lose some weight? Vovunio. Vovunio. Could you ask some questions? Yes. I just wanted to ask a question how you're getting ready for fight. Okay, tell me, how many glasses of what alcohol did you lift for fight today? Okay, or perhaps you had something stronger than alcohol. Okay. So, Patusia, you were in Project Lady program, but ladies don't fight. Things have changed. Okay, you are practicing grappling Kraków, yes, with Paweł, the best Kraków coach, okay, and also Marcin Dutek, the owner of a club. Tell me, what do you uh, do? Paweł does K1 MMA, so how can he coach a woman for something like that? 
clear box and I'm not stopping. I'm going to continue just to slap such cockroaches as the one on the other side so that they know where the place is. Esmeralda, you won with Anastasia. That was punch down, punch down three. Yes, the first fight and you enjoyed it so much that you decided to return and to fight again? Yes, I really like it. Now it's her time. Anastasia was a different level than this something sitting there. That's what I'm talking about. She showed culture. Our press conference was really positive. Yeah, you can see how you finished that. Yeah, your duel ended in a kiss on stage. Yes. I don't think it's possible here. It was all set. Sure? At least now you have the truth. Everything is visible. Okay. What are you doing, girl? Hey, that's not a question asked to you. So close that kisser. I don't believe you're going to kiss. Hey, take it easy or your silicone's going to break. Anastasia, I remember I even approached you just before the fight. You were sitting together talking, cuddling. Now you're looking at Patusha and you're thinking, if I hit her, she's not going to stand up. I won't look at her at all. We'll see each other on the 22nd and then we will prove who the best is. And I hope I'm going to knock her out so that she stops uh, Barking. Well, hope is the mother of all those stupid. Where do you practice? Because I know that you've gone through different things. There were some parties and things. What is it like today and where do you practice? I've gone to some practice sessions, but it's very hard to get ready for punch down. I was rather lifting weights. I did some boxing. That's what I was doing, but I've got experience because I took part in the first gala and I really wished Anastasia because thanks to my la quite large weight I knew that I was the top dog and that I was going to win, but I liked her very much and I pitied her, so I didn't hit her strong, but I'm just going to do it the proper way here. But you say that you practice, I'm looking at your body, and you definitely smaller than you used to be. How much did you lose? About 10 kilos, so another 10 and it's going to be there. Okay, if it took me two years, I can't take two months to lose 20 kilos. That's reality and let's be honest about that. Okay, in the last week you were really on your Instagram very cautious and you were attacking Esmeralda looking for a place in the cemetery and she didn't answer you until today. Was that your purpose to provoke? Esmeralda charged you with uh, the fact that you wanted to have more followers. Come on. I have nothing else to do than uh, to mm, hack at Godlevska who showed tits and ass. What do you show on your YouTube channel then? What do you stand for? I, I represent much more than you do. Okay. They can see all your to body to parts, to can't they? Okay. Okay, Patusha, in what are you better than Esmeralda? Oh my God, what a long list. Well, the club's been reserved until 10 p.m. Who let idiots like her in? Could you say something more specific? Yes, all the... Nasty words you're using. Okay, ask a question because I don't even understand that girl. I don't feel like listening to her. Horribly boring she is. What are you doing here? Change your rifle. Do you have any interesting questions? Yes, a handful. Go. But honestly, listening to, the, to you, I believe that this is a performance that people were waiting for. 
and that you are playing it out. The greatest performance is going to be on the 22nd of October by pay-per-view and there's going to be a true fight there. You wanted a specific question, you're getting it. I know that many times you communicated to people that you are a party goer. I'm not going to say who, but even before the fight with Anastasia, they saw you in a popular partying place in Warsaw. Okay, everyone does partying, but today, sitting here at the conference, do you feel that it is already your past that... It belongs to the past. I used to be very young, as, as every young person has the right to use this privilege. Now I'm 28 and I've got somewhat different priorities in my life. No, I don't do partying, but of course I will stay at the after party here in the gala. Clear thing, Wuvunia wanted to go back home, but we stay. Yes, we stay. Okay. Yes. Well, I know that girls are not really into slapdown here at the table. Maybe Tripson will manage. Okay, stand here and look into each other's eyes. Look into each other's eyes. I believe you should be here, Esmeralda. I don't feel like standing against somebody who I don't know who was kneeling to. Let them watch. I was kneeling to Jesus and Mary, my dear. And we're going to stand here on the 20th. That's the level of that cafe. Okay, some more culture, you don't have to fight. Hey, little one. Hey. You're shorter than I am by 10 centimeters, fallen cockroach. Once again, girls, can I encourage you to stand up there? Don't. Look finally into each other's eyes. I'm not returning. I'm not returning. I'm not going down. Let people wait until the 22nd and then we will face each other and she'll be shot dead, at least for a night. Okay, is that your final decision? This is my final decision. Okay, so we're not going to encourage you anymore. How about uh, phone to a friend? Patricia, what's your opinion? Sorry. Time to finish this program. Thank you very much for being with us for two hours. I hope that you're satisfied and you'll be with us in five days. On the 22nd of October, that's Friday, you've got to be here with us. You've got to watch Punchdown and Gala because, as I said yesterday, this beautiful autumn comes in. If you like to see all the gold coming up, you'll see it on Friday. So, Friday, 22nd, Punchdown. There we go. See you. Checking for me, no one checking on me, so I had to go run up a check. I got the message, homie, ain't no flexing on me. My attorney gon' call and collect. Blessings on blessings for me, my successes only made them envious, they got upset. I had to put all their egos in check. I want the money, the power, respect. And I heard you know so and so, you not a threat, cause I really know so and so. They like my family, so they go pretend that they cool till they bust it. Bunch down.
join the party. Biał kod Sixpacka i cała reszta z kozackim rabatem. Użyj kodu PUNCH10 na Sixpack Nutrition Code. Satysfakcja z treningu w 100%. PUNCHDOWN